The incumbent governor of River State is Sinfobara was the accountant general to Nyeson Mwike as the governor of River State then. Now, there are some speculations before today that Mwike was, you know, making up to 24 billion. I mean River State, not Mwike. River State was making up to 24 billion and Mwike was remitting 12 billion, 10 billion, 13 billion as the IG arrow of the state for a good eight years. He stayed in office. Now, Sinfobara as the accountant general knows everything that transpired. What happened? He uses the office of the governor to compensate for Barra and others he compensated them by all means he bought from for them do everything just to shut their mouth up. Now, this issue that has erupted in River State is opening everything as Sinfobara is about to start probing Wiki. Good evening everyone. Today is the 13th day of May 2024. You know, this uh, River State political crisis that have been going on since I thought that the worst that is going to happen has happened. That is the sacking of the 25 pro wiki lawmakers. I thought that is going to be the worst thing that will happen regarding this fight between Sinfobara and Nyeson Wiki, the minister of FCT. It was a surprise thing that this evening, Sinfobara, the governor of River State, vowed that he must prove the tenor of Nyeson Wiki. Now, before we go into the details, reading the articles and explaining what is really going on for you, it is important you understand that uh, Sinfobara made a statement last month. He said that Wiki was remitting 12 billion. That is what he said that the river state is generating. I mean the internal uh, revenue that they are generating. He said 12 billion. But Sinfobara discovered that when he assumed office, when he started controlling everything, he discovered that the revenue is coming 24 billion, 22 billion. So what is Wiki doing with 12 billion every month? I'm talking about every month. What is Wiki doing with 12 billion? So when you see all these politicians bragging, you don't know why they are bragging because they can buy anything buyable. Just imagine 12 billion, someone taking 12 billion for good eight years every month. He will service some persons that are aware that he's embezzling them money. He will put some his boss and be constructing flyover. As far as he's working, people won't notice that, oh, this person is indeed embezzling huge amount of money. Now, let's go into the article. The Forefront Nigeria is reporting this because this news is just breaking. So many newspaper outlets has not uh, reported this. It reads, River State Governor Sir Sam Fobara on Monday, May 13, 2024, declared that his administration will be setting up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate the affairs of the governance in the state before he assumed office. Governor Fobara, who stated this at the swearing in of Mr. Dagogo Israel Iboroma, senior advocate of Nigeria, as the new Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice of the state at Government House in Port Harcourt said he was bringing him on board at a critical time when there are a lot of legal matters that should be tackled with bravery and courage. Fubara said, Why are we bringing you at this very critical time? We have a lot of issues around us. We believe that you are not going to be the one that when they send service to you, you go and file Nonde Prosequi or you go and file one thing that will kill us here. Remember that uh, this is out of context. Remember that uh, the former attorney general who was a loyal man to Mwike, when Sinfobara asked him to file the case, he will go and file that the state don't have case with the person or the case don't have any case with the case that is going on. So this was what was going on in the river state. A governor will issue an order to a commissioner. They will continue to define it. Now, Sinfobara is now telling the newly uh, sworn in commissioner of justice um, that uh, we have a lot of work to do. Make sure you did not act like the former people that he just uh, sacked. Now, let's go to the next paragraph. He said, Let me also say this. You have a big tax. We will be setting up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate governance affairs. So, brace up. I am not going back on it. This one is when people said after the reggae they played the news. Now it's like they want to start playing the news after they must have played the reggae. But I think the reggae is still playing because the battle of uh, this uh, 26 or B25 pro weekend lawmakers, people are saying that oh, it is over. I think the court still has some judgment to pass, even when everybody knows the position of the law that these people don't have the 
the the, the, the legality to assume or continue as a assembly members. So let's wait for courts to finalize that one. That is why I said the radio is still playing now. So if Obama want to start playing the blues by uh, starting this uh, process of probing Wiki, and we know that there uh, is going to be a very catastrophic one. You see, the reason why Wiki want all these loyal people around him, people don't even know is because he don't want someone to dig into what he did in Rivers. And that is why he also wanted someone that would not even look into the post of Rivers like that, so that he himself will still have the power to control the post. Now, I continue to read what Senfubara told the New Day's in Commission of Justice. says, please, defend us. We know that you will defend us because your record is clean. You are a gentleman and peaceful. You are not a noisemaker. People like you are endowed and they have the fear of God. This is what he said. Now, let me continue reading this article. So Fubara retreated that though he thought the political crisis considered a problem within a family would have been resolved, he regretted that there had been no headway out of it. So this is a, a point of rubricum, a point of no return. Fubara is confirming that what is going on in River State, there is no headway. We don't think we'll come to a resolution or we'll just come to, you know, settle everything amicably that it is no longer in view. And you know what that means. And I said, the governor noted that the development was unfortunate, saying that his administration has moved forward since there is now a well-constituted state house of assembly to discharge legislative duties and a seasoned lawyer appointed as attorney general of the state. End of discussion. In the words of Fubara, this is what he said. I am happy that this is happening today to mark the beginning of a new era in our administration. When I said that I had a reason for being patient, it was because I knew we are all from one family. And if we disagree, no matter how bad it is, it should be resolved amicably. But it has become clear that this disagreement, there is no way to resolve it amicably. And for a lot of reasons, there is visible evidence that there is sabotage, a deliberate attempt to sabotage this administration. For that reason, we have to move forward. And moving forward, if it means taking decisions that are going to hurt anybody, we are not going back on the protection of the interests of reverse people. This is what he said. Now, let me continue to read the, parag the article. We say, Governor Fubara particularly took a swipe at a former attorney general, Professor Zakeus Adango, who, as the chief law officer of the state, indulged in sabotaging the same administration he served. That was just what I explained to you how people in the you know in the administration serving Saint Fubara was sabotaging him because of their loyalty to Nelson Wiki. Now, according to him, this is what Fubara said concerning the attorney general says it is good that you were already a senior advocate of Nigeria before your appointment. This means that you are a very thorough lawyer and have earned your appointment, not like the one who had here, who why in office they want to pay money to get senior advocate of Nigeria. Wow. This is after the reggae play the news. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, let's see how everything is going to play out. But let me tell you the truth. Eh? It is a wicked thing that River State was generating 24 billion as their IGR. And Wiki is remitting 12 billion. It's so unfortunate. And people should realize that 12 billion naira every month is not 12 million. We are talking about billion. Sinfobara was the accountant general of the Federation. He knew everything that transpired during Wiki's administration. So when he said he wanted to prove Wiki, he knew what he's talking about. And you Wiki is like such a greedy person who don't normally try to give people around him like that. He, he likes eating and though. Sinfubara must have noticed that Mwiki embezzled a lot of money. And for Sinfubara not to, you know, talk loud, he will just compensate him with the office of the governor. He compensated him with the office of the governor. Now he started oppressing him. Now the guy wants to prove him. How is this going to go? Well, let's see as it is going to go, as I said earlier. Let me know what you think. Guys, interesting time ahead in River State. I think the people of River State, they should be very, very careful because all this political fight is to their detriment. We are two elephants are fighting the grass we only suffer. So the people that are going to suffer for what is going on now, it's not even sinful, but it's not making 
the highest thing they will do is to put Wiki in prison. This is Nigeria. Maybe two, three years, everything will be over. If at all, he will even go to jail. If they, if they, they will even have that means to probe him. Everything is possible in Nigeria. But what I'm trying to say is that all these things are just to the detriment of the reverse people. So let me know what you think on the comment section. Thank you.